Let me tell you how a 30 second conversation early in my career dramatically impacted my leadership outlook. In the late 1990s, I served as an operations officer in an infantry battalion stationed in Bosnia during the conflict in that part of the world. And part of my responsibilities was to own the VIP PowerPoint briefing. My job was to update the slides and be the slide flipper when we have these briefings to visiting dignitaries. One day, Major General Montgomery Miggs, the commanding general in charge of all US forces in Bosnia came to visit. And to prepare, I updated the slides I made them look all nice and neat and I got everything set up for the briefing. And for this one, we only had a few of our folks present, our commander, plus about three others and little old me, the slide flipper. I was, by any measure, the least important person in the room. But when Major General Miggs entered the room, followed by his entourage, he made a beeline towards me. He shook my hand, introduced himself, and asked me about my family and thanked me for being there. That small gesture made a huge impact on me. The commander in charge of the entire operation in Bosnia took 30 seconds of his time to look me in the eye and showed me that he cared to make me feel important and part of the team. He even asked my opinion on one of the topics during the briefing. The lesson I learned from this small experience and my brief encounter with General Miggs was to remember to treat everyone with the same dignity, respect, and importance, regardless of rank or title, and to make sure that everyone feels part of the team and connected to the mission. So how about you? Are there people on your team who might be on the fringes and could use some attention to feel more connected to the purpose and mission of your team? I'm Tim Huff, and thank you for watching another episode of Bite Size Leadership.